What's going on YouTube? Jake Verd and Tech here, and today we have a Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about how you can take a regular PNG or JPEG image or some sort of image file that you might have on your PC, convert that into an SVG file and import it into Autodesk Fusion 360 and turn that image into a 3D object. So this is a super helpful little tool in Fusion 360 to where if you have some sort of image file that you want to bring in and turn into a 3D object, importing of a SVG is actually really awesome because it kind of identifies the lines of the image and certain areas that can be extruded. And that's what makes it so helpful. It makes it much easier opposed to what I used to do before, which was taking a image and importing it as a canvas and tracing the whole image and connecting the lines that I wanted to get extruded. So the SVG file being imported does take out that step, which saves a lot of time and makes it a lot easier. Alrighty guys, with that being said, let's hop onto the desktop and we'll get started with this tutorial. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Fusion 360. This is a project where I've worked on a lot of different 3D objects, as you can see. Um, a lot of these are for like the Pokemon deck boxes I've been making. So as you can see over here, these are a lot of the different designs I've done. And a lot of these were SVG files that I imported and extruded myself. And some of them I did end up tracing before I knew how to import SVGs and stuff into Fusion 360. So that's been really helpful. So that's what we're going to do in this video today. So first things first, you're going to need a PNG or a JPEG image, just some sort of image file. And from there, you can go ahead and convert it through a free converter like Conversio is what I use. So as you can see here, this is Conversio. You can just select your image file. And in this case, I'm going to pick, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. And that'll bring you over to the next page. And this is the file converter. So right now, as you can see, this is a PNG. And we want to go ahead and convert that to an SVG. So if you click the drop down here on Conversio, you can see SVG pops up towards the top. But if you don't see it there, you can go down to Vector Image and select SVG from there. So it is ready to convert. We'll just go ahead and click Convert and it's going to start doing its thing. And once it's ready, we can click download and we'll have that SVG file. As you can see, it finished. So we're going to click download and away we go. So back in Fusion 360, what we can do is now that we have that SVG file, we can go ahead and insert. As you can see, um, if you go over to insert in the top ribbon towards the far right, as far as the selections go, um, there's insert decal, canvas, which is a lot of the stuff that I used to do when I would just trace the image. But like I said, the SVG way is much easier. So we're going to insert that SVG and we'll insert from computer, take it from my downloads. And now you're going to select a plane you would like to drop it on. So we're going to go ahead and drop it here. And as you can see, it has our vector image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and find a place for it where we can start working on it. I have a lot on this project file in Fusion. So we'll go ahead and drop it there. And as you can see, this is now an object we can manipulate and extrude, which makes it much easier. We didn't have to do any tracing. Um, sometimes you will, there are little corrections depending on the images that you select that you'll have to make. Sometimes all the lines won't connect or as you can see, we might have some little imperfections that we can go in and trim. So we can go ahead and do that too. A lot of times too, the shading and stuff of, if you have an image that has a lot of different shading and stuff, that can affect the quality of the import and can give you some issues there. So you might have to trim up some of those areas that might have very high highlights or shading, stuff like that. But overall it works pretty well. But just to give you guys an idea, We'll actually extrude this. And as you can see, we have a 3D object from our image. I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to 
Let's hit Control Z, and I'm not sure why my sketch got hidden. That's okay. So I'll go back in, and we'll just go to Edit Sketch. So now we can kind of manipulate it and do the extrusions we want to do. Showing you guys an example of a little bit of the quality issues I've ran into with certain images, having a lot of shadows or highlights, stuff like that. This is one of them right here, this particular figure. And right here you can see in that area there might have been a lot of highlights or maybe some sort of shadows. And I'll go ahead and try and find the image so we can kind of compare it what might have been there. But it'll leave you with some odd results sometimes, like I said, depending all on the image. Okay, and yep, if I drag this down here, you can kind of see this area right here. That's where we had a lot of highlights in our image that we brought in. So, like I said, that can throw it off quite a bit. You can see it here around the head of this Pokemon too, where it got kind of messed up. So, um, it really depends on the image that you select. The image that we selected for that, for the example, actually was pretty solid because it didn't have any color and that's another thing that can help is if you select an image that doesn't have any color it can render you a little bit better results alrighty guys I'm gonna work on getting this extruded and we'll see how it turns out Alrighty guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. This was just a quick little Fusion 360 tutorial on how to turn a PNG or JPEG or some sort of image file that you guys might have into an SVG and then import that SVG into Fusion 360. And it's much easier than importing the image as a canvas and tracing out the image that you want to extrude into a 3D object. Thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more tech related videos like this one, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.